Hello and welcome back to a new lesson. Today we're going to learn how to create a simple camera animation that rotates around our object and it's really super easy to do. Now, what we want to do is to create an empty actor. So let's go to the create menu, go to basic and just click on actor. We can set this in the center of our world or where we want the animation to happen. So the animation will happen around this point. If we're happy, we can leave it. If we're not, we can put it somewhere. The next thing we want to add is a camera. So I'm going to click here, go to cinematic, choose a cinematic camera actor, click and drag. Now I will simply click and drag this camera as well to the actor. Now we can move the camera away, move it up. So I like to move my cameras like really far, like so. And I can switch to that camera. So assign camera actor, we can select it. I can increase the zoom to whatever I like set my view to something I like. Of course, don't do this because now what we want to do next is to rotate this actor. So maybe you want to do this. So just set the view to what you like, what you prefer. You can also go make sure cinematic viewport is selected, set the grid. So let's go back to the camera. Let's say we're happy with this or let's say this or this, anything you want. Once we're happy, and for this camera, because I want to render it later, I'm going to disable the focus. I just want to set it here or just simply disable it, no focus. Now, what we want to do is to create a level sequencer. So let's press control space and it's okay. We can make it next to our level because I'm going to delete it after. Cinematics level sequence LS underscore 360 animation. Click on enter, open that, click on add to find our empty actor. So we need to actor to sequencer, then click here on our actor. Now this actor here, Click on the track to add a track, then click on transform. Then let's say we want 300 frames. That's 10 seconds. I can click here. If you don't have these, the controls, just make sure you have cinematic viewport enabled. Now I'm going to rotation and we want to animate this on the yaw. So I'm going to set the yaw to zero, set a keyframe and here at 300 frames. I will set this to 359. I'm going to click on this button to move the playhead, click on animation, and that's nice. Now, obviously we want our camera here. So let's go ahead and add our camera. So click add, add the camera. And this will also add a camera cut for us. Now, click on play. If you don't want for the animation to play slow and then speed up, then slow again, you can select both keyframes and press on four. So right click one, two, three, four for linear key interpolation. If you press on play again, you can see the speed is consistent. So if you want slower animation, you can extend this. And if you want much faster animation, you can make it like really fast. So let's say 450 frames, move these here. And let's say I'm not happy with the camera. All you need to do is to select the camera, then press on play again, and you can keep adjusting. So let's say I want to move this like this, and that's it. So if I'm ha not happy with the center of my rotation, I can select my actor and I can also move it to exactly where I want it to rotate. And yeah, you can get as creative as much as you want with this, mix it with other actors. So in the cinematic, you have the rail, the crane. Let me know if you want tutorials on these in the future lessons. Now, if you click here, render this movie to a video, you can select any of your presets if you have any. If you don't, you can click here. If you want JPEG, that's good. If you don't want, you can select EXR or PNG. So for me, when I use EXR, I usually use .ps or DAWA. This is a good combination of file size and all the alpha channels I want. For now, I will keep it really simple. I just keep JPEG and let's say if I want some anti-aliasing, we can click on the settings add anti-aliasing, we can add console variables. So I have many lessons about cinematics and I'm more than happy to do a live stream about cinematics and all these render settings in detail. Just let me know in the comments if you like that. Now, the only thing I want to ensure is where this is saving. And once you're happy, click render. 
So I hope you found this one useful. You can share the video with a friend if you found it useful. And I will see you in the next lesson. Take care.